Hello and welcome to Upside Down. Today I want to be giving you some insights how you can create a beautiful environment that is very optimized. And for this purpose we will be checking a gameplay from the new Half-Life Alex. Right from the start uh, I want to say that uh, we can see a very nice light. Everything in the scene is baked. We have uh, some dynamic lights here and there. Like for example the top, the light doesn't change, but uh, then we have another dynamic light on the side, which is the one that is uh, changing its intensity. You can see that these planks, they don't cast uh, absolutely any shadows, so they're most likely just static geometry. And the environment itself, it's uh, very simple. You can see that uh, these walls, uh, they don't have any speci special detail on them, and also the geometry generally, it's, uh, it's quite simple. There's not a lot of unique textures, so uh, they're using quite a lot of uh, tile textures and also quite a lot of uh, atlases. I'm sure that uh, some of these uh, drawers and uh, some of the other elements uh, inside are actually packed into the same texture atlas. So this whole scene could be just uh, a texture for uh, for the ground, uh, two different uh, textures as I saw for the walls. And uh, then we have a couple of... Uh, atlases which are packed uh, or a couple of tiled textures. This bucket for example can be easily done by just a tiled texture. Another thing that uh, I would like you to see is uh, the reflections. This is a very interesting uh, choice that uh, they, they took to optimize. So you can see that uh, the reflections uh, on the objects they are completely flat so there is actually no any uh, uh, roughness variation. Notice how they are again playing with uh, warm and cold lights. This is something that I was talking about uh, in the Cyberpunk video and it's generally uh, a practice that uh, almost all the studios are using. Uh, if you are adding like warmer and uh, cold colors in your scene, it uh, adds an extra layer of uh, contrast. For example, here we can see exactly how the whole scene where we are at the moment, it's uh, with blue light and the one which is on the back, it's uh, with warm light, so it adds this depth and uh, also it separates the whole background with the foreground. Agreed. This extra slime that we can see on, on top, it's uh, just a plane with uh, alpha. There is uh, some normal map which uh, creates this effect of uh, having some depth. You can see that this object here, it didn't have, uh, it, it was not casting any shadows in the world. It's it's done this way because uh, you can s you saw that uh, it had some animations, and uh, they most likely wanted to save some uh, memory there from uh, casting any dynamic shadows. And it's not really needed because the scene itself already had enough uh, details. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you liked this video, and I hope I'll see you next time. Enjoy playing Half Life.